Hello and welcome to Dream Better English with me, James O'Reilly. I hope you're all doing very well and I'm going to bring you some stories from around the world to help you guys improve on your listening English and other aspects as well. So without further ado, let's get into our first story. Our first story comes from the United States and it's about Donald Trump who has just tested positive for coronavirus. The president says he is in isolation. Um, after his close collaborator, Hope Hicks, had tested positive for coronavirus, Donald Trump said on Thursday, 1st of October, that he and his wife, Melania, had a test and they were confined pending the results, says Politico. Pending means waiting for, pending the results. We'll see what happens, but who knows? The US president said in a television interview the, uh, this evening. He later posted on Twitter, Tonight the First Lady and I tested positive for COVID-19. Hope Hicks travelled with the head of state twice this week, Tuesday for his debate with the Democratic White House candidate Joe Biden, and Wednesday for a campaign rally um, in Minnesota. And she was seen without a mask aboard Air Force One. The site also notes uh, Politico is the site in question. Um, uh, she was aboard Air Force One. Air Force One is uh, the president of the United States. It's the uh, airplane that they fly in. Okay, so uh, just to highlight or to draw attention to test positive. If we do a test to see if we have something, a disease, for example, we go to the doctor and we get a blood test. Uh, the doctor will tell us if we have something and that means we test positive. So if we have coronavirus, we test positive for coronavirus. Um, and the opposite is to test negative. Head of state is uh, Donald Trump. He is the head of state of the United States. He is the president. Uh, all countries have a head of state. Well, most countries, I suppose. And... In general, they are male or men, and their wives or partners will be called first ladies. If it's a man, he will be the first mm, first man, I suppose. Uh, there are a few. There are a few in the world. Okay, so um, we also mentioned Hope Hicks, who is a, collabor a close collaborator. Collaborator is somebody who works with somebody. To collaborate is to work with somebody. And he also said, we'll see what happens. Who knows? It's a good expression in English to say, we'll see what happens. It's more like, I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see. We'll see what happens. Who knows? Okay, moving on to the next one. The EU, um, uh, EU or European Union leaders on Friday gave the green light to sanction the Belarusian regime. Okay, so to give the green light means to approve or to say yes. And sanctions are uh, generally economic. They're about money. So it means we will not buy something from your country or we will uh, do things to your country that will have an effect on your economic, uh, on your economy. Um, if your country is called a regime or the leadership of your country is called a regime, it's it's not a good sign. It generally means that the rest of the world sees you as authoritarian or they are against you. They see you it's uh, illegitimate. So this is about the recent elections in Belarus where... Um, the uh, president for so many years, his name is Alexander Lukashenko. He was voted in with 80% of the um, uh, votes in the elections. And a lot of countries see this as uh, that there was electoral fraud, fraud being cheating. So we'll see what happens there. Well, it's interesting that these sanctions are against 40 people allegedly responsible for the repression or um, putting down the demonstrations and electoral fraud. Um, but Alexander Lukashenko is not involved in these 
um, sanctions. Maybe his cl close collaborators or his entourage, people who work closely with him. Uh, we'll see and we'll keep you updated on that. Let's see what happens there. Okay, and finally, um, uh, in relation to coronavirus, Paris is likely to switch to maximum alert on Monday. The French authorities could place Paris on maximum COVID-19 alert as of Monday. As of here means from Monday. And this was announced by the Minister of Health, Olivier Véran, and this was quoted by the BBC from the UK. Infection rates in the capital and its suburbs are on the rise and a decision on imposing new restrictions will be made on Sunday, he warned. So the capital being Paris and the suburbs are the neighbourhoods around the capital or around the urban area of the centre of the city. Um, uh, in Paris, a total closure of bars may be necessary, he said. Uh, France, one of the many European countries which is experiencing an increase in cases, noted the BBC, has recorded more than 13,000 cases on Thursday. So there you are. Um, another couple of things I want to draw your attention to in from the last part about Paris and COVID-19 is likely was mentioned it is likely which means it is very possible i mentioned suburbs being the area generally where people live outside of the city center um, and also on the rise increasing finally imposing means to put or to make a rule okay so um i hope i have helped you there with some listening some grammar vocabulary and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.